What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I've got a quick video for you guys on how to remove and replace the knobs, whether it's on your oven or your cooktop, it's the same process. If they're missing or damaged like we've got here in my case, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to do. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. All right guys, so like I said, we've got a burnt one up on top. Now we need to replace all four of these simply because I can't get parts from the manufacturer for this one right here. I believe it's a discontinued item. So what we need to do is replace all four with something as similar to what we've already got here. Now what we're gonna do is simply hold on to remove it, lift up, and it simply pops off. Now I'm gonna flip this one here over and put it on the side. If we have a look at the shaft here, you'll notice it's not a complete circle. We've got a little flat section on one side, that means our little knob here will also have a flat section on one side. Now it's important to note this because when you buy your replacement, you need to make sure that it's on the right side of um, your little knob here to make sure that it sits in place and we've got a little indicator that's always gonna be in the right position. So I'll show you guys what happens if you buy the wrong size. Flip this one here back over. Remembering our little flat section is on the left side of the shaft. So we've got here some cheap replacements that I've picked up. These ones here cost about $5 compared to the original or genuine ones which will cost about $80. So if I open these ones here up, line up the indicator in the right direction and if we have a look, you can see that flat section is actually in the wrong spot. So what that means is if I need to install this one here, it's gonna go in this position and it's gonna be sitting facing the wrong way. So it'll still work but it just means the indicator is going to be facing the wrong way the whole time. Now we don't want that. This one here is technically called a universal oven knob or a cooktop knob, but it's not really universal simply because of that position of the flat section um, inside. So this one here is not going to work for us. It's a good fix if you've got um, one that sits actually as shown there. So that flat section needs to be on the right side. What you need to buy is an actual universal one, and I mean actual universal because this one here can go in any direction, and they give you a whole bunch of fittings depending on the height um, that you want the oven knobs to sit in. So if we take this one here out now, flip it over, and it's actually hollow inside. You can see all those little teeth all the way around, all those grooves. That's gonna allow our little bits and pieces to go in. Now we've got two different heights depending on what you've got and we can rotate this into any position. So regardless of the uh, side that the flat section is on, this one here can be rotated into any direction. So this is exa exactly what you're after. You don't need to insert it into the um, oven or cooktop knob and then try and line it up. That might give you a bit of grief. So what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna flip this one here over. The teeth go on the other side so they can meet the teeth on the other side of the grooves. Drop this one here in position. We'll take our new one. Make sure that one there is in the off position. And we're just gonna simply line it up. Make sure it's 100% perfect. Drop that one there in place. Push it all the way in until it bites on. And now we've got our new one ready to go. So now this one here is 100% functional. Back the way it's supposed to be. And what you need to do is just simply do the exact same process for all the three up on top or six or eight, however many that you have. And once they've all been replaced, this is what it ends up looking like. Brand new oven or cooktop knobs, the process is gonna be exactly the same. To recap, you've got your $5 replacement option, making sure that the flat section here is gonna line up with the shaft that you've originally got. You've got your $20 option, which means this one here is pretty much gonna work on every single make and model out there. Then you've got your genuine factory ones, which if you can get your hands on, or if they're not discontinued, these ones here are starting at about $80. So this is a good little option to get you out of trouble. I'll put the links in the description below in case you guys need them. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.